Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a quick review for a new MTL RTA from Damvape. It's going to be of course the Diamond MTL RTA. It's been designed by Damvape and J Design. Now J Design, I've tried to find out who this is. I don't think it's a reviewer. I think it's just a company. Whether they designed the packaging or whether they designed the RTA itself, I'm not too sure. Can't find any details about it. All I know is it's by Dan Vape and J Design. I'm vaping on that at the moment. This is going to be the same build that I'm going to show you up close, but this is now going to be a 1.24 ohm coil in the up close. I had a 1.34 ohm coil after the up close. I was vaping a little while and the ohms were jumping up and down. So I had a quick look again at the build deck and I hadn't screwed it down tightly on one of the legs. So you may notice that the up close that one of the legs isn't quite screwed down. Sometimes it's hard when you're looking over the camera, doing the close-ups. So yeah, one leg wasn't screwed in. Screwed it down, it's settled in now at 1.24, 514 watts. That's where the airflow screw screwed in one third of the way. So yeah, first of all, let's go down, have a quick look at the Dan Vape Diamond MTL RTA. Okay, here we are the box that the diamond comes in. Top just says Dan Vape Diamond MTL RTA, designed by Dan Vape and again J Design. Like I said earlier on, I don't think J Design is a reviewer, I think it's just a design company. This side, doing nothing. This side, a little barcode. Told you mine's going to be stainless steel. Dan Vape QR, and your little scratch and check. This side's going to be nothing. And on this side here is going to be Dan Bates rubber dress. On the back, a few details. Leave it there for you. And inside the box, we're going to find the diamond RTA itself. Put that to one side. We're going to get a bubble glass. This bubble glass will make it hold 3.5 mils of e-liquid. With a straight glass, it will hold 2 mils of e-liquid. Then underneath here, we're going to find little user manual. This user manual comes about eight different languages. Just shows you stages or steps. Step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. Nice, simple, and easy to follow. We're also gonna find underneath there a little baggie. This has some spare O-rings, two spare gross screws, and a spare airflow insert. I'll show you that's for in a minute. You get a little Bob the Builder screwdriver. So yeah, on the diamond RTA itself, it's going to be a 22mm in diameter. It's going to be 39 in height from the base to the drip tip. On the base it does say diamond. You've got the J Design logo, usual CE mark and those with a bin and manufactured by Danvape. The 510 pin here is stainless steel and is really a nicely protruding 510 pin. On the top, it's going to be a 510 drip tip. This is going to be held on with two O-rings. Really nice tight bore mouth long drip tip. You can see here on the, ch the chimney here. That chimney again is a nice tight bore. That chimney and this mouthpiece are the same size. That's what's producing a really good mouth lung flavour. It's going to be top fill. There's going to be little cutouts for all in all. If you get a little grip, just unscrew it to reveal two nice filling ports. It's going to be a little o-ring here to help seal it. Now on the top cap, it's going to be another o-ring here to produce a nice seal. As you, can, as you can see, there's a cutout here and here. That helps so that when this is full of juice, I'm just screwing it back on again. It helps to relieve the air pressure, stops the air being pushed in and pushing the juice into the wick too much. Go to take off the base a second. Take off the glass. You can see here on the chimney, it does say diamond, sorry about the light. On this side is going to be the diamond logo. Now the chamber inside is a really nice, small, tightly condensed chamber. It is slightly domed, but it is also funnel shaped going towards the chimney. This is what's producing a really good mouth flavour, I must say. Now as you can see here on the base, there's going to be a little screw here. This is going to be your airflow control. You don't turn it this way. You actually just screw this screw in. 
the more you screw it in, the tighter the mouth along will be, the more it's screwed out, the slightly more looser it will be. Get a screwdriver and I'll show you what I mean. So when you built your coil, you whipped it all up, you can put your screwdriver inside here, and slowly turn it to screw it all the way in or all the way out. I've been having mine about one third of the way in. And that's producing a really good mouth to lung. I would say that that hole there is probably a 1.5 millimeter because the air hole under the coil is a 1.5 millimeter and that looks about the same as that. On the deck itself, this is going to be very much like a K-Fun style sort of build deck where you can put one leg out of this side or this side and on the side of each post there's little notches here to help you pull your wire across. So you just put your white your coil in here, put your leg in, pull it around into the notch here to cut it easy. Like I said, underneath the um, coil is going to be a 1.5 millimeter air hole. Now, as you can see here on the wicking ports, these wicking ports are quite big. Not only here, but even on the base, they're quite big. So you do need to put in a lot of cotton to block this off. If you don't have enough cotton in here, you will get a slight bit of flooding. I have tried a 2.5 in a millimeter diameter coil and I didn't quite have enough cotton to fill this pot here. As Dan Vake do suggest, and I would agree, you need to use a coil in this one with a 3 millimeter in the diameter so you have enough cotton to block these off. If you don't put enough cotton in here, you don't block it off fully. This will flood a little bit, I must say. And when I put my wick in here, I don't comb it out. I actually just stuff it in here, really block this off with cotton. So yeah, going to do a quick build. So yeah, in this build, we're going to be using a 28 gauge can full, just six wraps around a three millimeter rod. Cotton I'm going to be using is going to be my Stella cotton from Kilwick. So let's put the build. And there we are, all coiled, wicked, and juiced. That's the Dime Vape Diamond MTL RGA. Let's go back up top, have a quick talk. So yeah, there we are. That was the plus for the Diamond MTL RTA. Uh, let's talk about the fit and finish of this one. This one, for me, looks really, really nice. It's got a slightly high-end look and feel to it, but at a low price. That airflow on the side with a little screw, it's a bit like a k from light sort of style airflow. And it's also a bit like my Kabuki tank. Now my Kabuki tank takes stock coils, it's not an RTA. It takes a Spire Nautilus and the old Triton coils. But on that one, again on the side, it had a little screw. I just screwed in, it closed off one of the air holes. This design is working perfectly for me. That screw here on the side, the more you screw it in, the more tighter it gets. If you screw that almost all the way in, it's going to be a really, really tight mouth to lung. And then as you more you screw it, 
you can change it. So this really is adaptable for you as a vapor to personalize for your style of vaping. Let's talk about the mouth lung experience. Like I'm saying there, about the airflow. That airflow is working perfectly for a mouth to lung. You could take the screw out totally and try to use it as a direct lung, but it's not really performing well in that way because that air hole under the coil is only 1.5 millimeters. Yes, you will get more air, but the vapor doesn't quite feel right. This really is designed for a mouth to lung vape and the mouth to lung experience with this one has been really, really good. The flavor wise on this one is going to be up there. I have a few favorite tanks I use all the time in my rotation. Things like the True Tank, the Centaur Mini, the Hastel Mini, and even my K from Prime. This one, I will even put in that same category as a K from Prime, because it's giving me really, really good flavor. And that's gonna be because of that chimney and the chamber inside. It's a really nice small chamber. It is slightly domed, but then it does go into like a funnel shape to the chimney and that is really condensing the vapor and giving it a really really good flavor do i have any bad points because so far it's been all good i have one bad point it's gonna be a minor niggle when i first got this i tried to put in a fuse clapton coil which could be a three millimeter in the diameter those grub screws on the build deck, they're a little bit short. As you unscrew it to get your coil in, if you've got a slightly thicker coil, you run the risk of that screw falling out. You can get it to just being on the verge of falling out and sort of wiggle a thicker wire into it, but another half a turn on that screw and it would fall out. So those grub screws on the build deck could do it being maybe one or two turns longer, but apart from that, that is gonna be really my only gripe, my only bad point. If you're gonna use a single wire like I did in this build, it's simple enough. But like I said, a slightly thicker coil. Like I said, I use a fuse Clapton. I did get it in there, but it was a fiddle. I had to sort of wiggle it around to get it under the screw, but I knew that if I turn the screw one more little turn, the screw would fall off. And that will be my only bad point. I have really, really been enjoying the flavor from this one. This one is going to be in my top three for 2019 so far. Like I said, it's on par with my favorite tanks, like the True Tank, the Centaur Mini, and like I said, even a K from Prime. And um, price-wise, in the UK, you can get it for £25. £25 from eSig1, it's a bargain. I bought mine directly from Danvape. They sent it out quite a while ago, but I had a few problems with work, and then with my children being on holiday, then one child being off ill, and then last week my laptop didn't update and totally bricked. I couldn't use my software, couldn't use my camera, couldn't use my editing software. And I spent the whole week literally just reinstalling all of my windows and all my programs. So this review is a week late, but yeah, I have been really, really enjoying this one. Good flavor, good performance, and good price. And that was of course the Danvape Diamond MTL. RTA, really, really good guys. Guys and girls, hope you like the video. Did like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done already. And yeah, I'm gonna to say to you, like I always say to you, every time, I will see you all next time.